The vaccine known as Gardasil has been given to millions of people worldwide to prevent the spread of HPV, the infection that, if left untreated, can cause cervical and head and neck cancers. Dr. Denise Galloway, a cancer biologist at the Fred Hutch Cancer Center, is one of the early pioneers of developing the HPV vaccine. They've certainly learned that it's safe. In its early years, Gardasil targeted the four HPV strains known to cause cancerous growth. Today, the Gardasil shot targets nine strains. Within 12 years of the vaccine's introduction in 2006, HPV infections decreased 88 percent among teenage girls and 81 percent among women in their early 20s in the U.S., according to CDC data. Dr. Galloway points to studies of more success from Australia, where the HPV vaccine is distributed widely in school-based programs and have really reduced the rates of not only cervical cancer, but um, genital warts and the pre-malignant lesions that um, occur before you have cancer um, because they are so successful at vaccinating kids in school. But a big question remained. If you vaccinate a child or an adolescent when they're, let's say, 10 years old, Will they be protected when they're 20, 30, 40 years, 50 years old? Galloway's research suggests yes. Moreover, the study found two doses of the vaccine does just as good of a job as the FDA recommended dose of three. Dr. Galloway says B memory cell markers from the vaccine show the immunity response to an HPV infection will be long lived. And so certainly for the three to 10 year range, we can say that these memory cells um, persist, which is a good thing. Probably suggests you won't need a booster. Which is a key point here, as the coveted goal is for the HPV vaccine to be a single dose. It's hard to get adolescents to come in three times. Three times is going to be more expensive than than one time. Fred Hutch is marking its 50th anniversary in cancer research this year. Dr. Galloway's contributions to this cancer preventing vaccine is among its many scientific breakthroughs with more to come. For HealthLink, I'm Christine Pay reporting.